Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how you can upload your Minecraft mod pack to the Curse Forge launcher. I'm going to be showing a step-by-step -step guide that should only take around 5 to 10 minutes for you to get your Minecraft mod pack up and running on the Curse Forge launcher. Alright, so the first step to actually creating a mod pack on the Curse Forge launcher is you have to go to Create Custom Profile, you have to name it, you have to select the Minecraft version, and you click Create. I already created one named Tutorial, but you can name it whatever you like, it doesn't matter. And after doing that, you want to click on the box that you created, and to add mods to it, all you have to do is click Add More Content, and select all the mods that you want to have on your Minecraft mod pack. After doing that, all you have to do is click the X on the top right, and it's going to show you the three or four or however many mods you have in your mod pack. After having all of your mods selected and playing a couple just to make sure it isn't buggy, all you have to do is click three little dots next to play, click export profile, uh, name, the t name it whatever you'd like on top. Uh, I usually recommend putting a 1.0 or 2.0 or whatever the version of the Minecraft mod pack that you are uploading. So if you're watching this for the first time and uploading your first mod pack, I would recommend putting a 1.0 here. Uh, and then after that, you select all the files that you would like to be included in the export. And after you do all of that, you just click export. It's going to pop up this menu. You click wherever you want to export it. I already have one on the desktop, so I'm not going to do this. So I'm just going to click cancel. But all you have to do is click save, and it will automatically export to wherever you saved it. I decided to save mine to the desktop, and this is what it looks like after I click export. Double click on the file to open it up. Verify that these, you might have a couple more folders in here, but make sure there's no jar or mods folder. It should have modlist.html. When you click on this, it's going to open up Google or whatever program, and it should list all of your mods. After you look at the file and make sure everything is in correct order, all you have to do is go to the CurseForge website, so www.curseforge.com. This is going to be found in the description. When you first open this website, you're going to have to sign in on the top right. So there's going to be a sign in option here. Just click sign in. And if you have to create a CurseForge account, then do so. After doing that, you want to click on start a project and it's going to open up this new menu. After opening up this menu, all you're going to have to do is click select game and type in Minecraft. And after clicking that, it's going to ask for a category and you just click mod packs. After doing that, all you have to do is type in the name of your mod pack. So I'm just going to keep it tutorial. Tutorial actually may be taken. So some names, if it's very basic, it may already be taken. So all you have to do is add on either your name or add something that makes the, uh, the title a little more unique. After that, then you put summary, which I'm just going to put tutorial. And then you're going to have to have a description. The descriptions, you need to have at least three to four sentences explaining your mod pack. If you don't have three to four sentences, they're going to send you a deny. Uh, and to f know that if your mod pack's been denied, all you have to do is click the bell on the top right. And it's going to appear in here. And it's going to say that your Minecraft mod pack has been declined. And it's going to give you a reason. So in the description, I'm just going to put tutorial, even though if this was my mod, mod pack, I would list three to four sentences or maybe even longer just to explain what the mod pack is all about. After that, you scroll down a little bit. Everything should automatically be selected for these two. Uh, if they're not, just make sure these are the two that are selected. For primary category, all you have to do is click on the category that your mod pack is that you, you are creating for your mod pack. So I'm just going to say tech. And then you can select subcategories, which you can choose hardcore, exploration, or however many you want. Alrighty, so to create a logo image, you're going to have to either use Photoshop, GIMP, Paint, or whatever program that will give you the opportunity to make a 400 by 400 pixel picture. After doing that, all you have to do is click choose file, or you can simply just scroll down and you can grab the photo that you're going to be using and just drag and drop and then all you have to do after that is click start project you can also turn off allow comments or you can also turn on or off uh, this project is an experimental after doing that all you have to do is click start project and it's going to open up a new menu for you this is 
the page that you're going to look at whenever you are deciding to uh, make changes to your mod pack or whatever you decide to do with your mod pack. After you are on this page, all you have to do is click on File on the top right. Once you click File, it's going to have an option to upload file. This is where you drop your exported profile from the CurseForge launcher from earlier. All you have to do is drag and drop and it should upload. It should take a couple seconds, it may take a couple minutes depending on how fast your internet speeds are. While your mod pack is uploading, all you have to do is type a display name. So I'm just going to use the same name. You can use whatever you like for this. So I'm just going to do name it Tutorial Bay. For release type, if you'd like to choose release, this is what's from personal experience. I've used beta and alpha in the past, and for some reason these two don't show up sometimes on the Minecraft mod pack uh, list. So if you click on release, it should show up. And this, all you got to do is type in a change log. So as we're uploading, it's a new upload. So all you have to do is I would just type in new upload. Make sure this is selected and choose the Minecraft version that you created for your Minecraft mod pack, which is 1.16.5 for my mod pack. Then after doing that, all you have to do is click submit a file. After you submit the file, it's going to open up this new page, which is going to show your Minecraft mod pack. It's going to have this little menu down here, which is going to show you the type of file that you have. So it's going to either be a release, beta, or alpha. It's going to show the title. It's going to show the size when you uploaded it, the game version, downloads, and the status. The status is one of the more important things out of this menu because it's going to either show you that your mod pack has been approved or denied. After uploading the file, it's going to have pop up the same main menu again, and if it's approved or denied, it's going to list that under the status. If it's denied again, just go to the bell icon and fix the problems that they are telling you to fix. If it's approved, congratulations, your Minecraft mod pack is on the Curse Forge launcher. It may take a day or two to upload, and it also may take a day or two for them to actually look at it and verify that it's either been approved or denied. The longest that I've had to wait is about a week, so... It can vary from a day or two to a week, but most of the mod packs that I've released in the past only take about a day or two. If your Minecraft mod pack is denied, don't worry, it's a very easy fix. All you have to do is click on the bell icon on the top right next to that dashboard, and it's going to list the reason why your Minecraft mod pack has been denied. After knowing the reason, all you have to do is fix the reason why it was denied and re-upload the file by following the steps before and just re-uploading a new file. After uploading the file, it's going to have pop up the same main menu again, and if it's approved or denied, it's going to list that under the status. If it's denied again, just go to the bell icon and fix the problems that they are telling you to fix. If it's approved, congratulations, your Minecraft mod pack is on the Curse Forge launcher. It may take a day or two to upload, and it also may take a day or two for them to actually look at it and verify that it's either been approved or denied. The longest that I've had to wait is about a week, so... It can vary from a day or two to a week, but most of the mod packs that I've released in the past only take about a day or two. When your mod pack has been approved, all you have to do is click Browse Mod Packs and type in the title of your mod pack. If it doesn't appear, for example, if I type in Bay, it, my mod pack might not appear just because there are so many mod packs named Bay. But if I type in Bay's World, it should appear. If it doesn't appear, don't worry. If you have a very generic name, all you have to do is type in your the author's name, which is your Minecraft in-game name, or your CurseForge launcher's uh, username. After doing that, it's going to list the two or three or however mod, many mod packs you have listed under that author. If you need help in any parts of this video, feel free to comment down below your problem that you faced and I will do my best to provide you a solution. It may take a day or two for me to provide you an answer. Or if you read the comment that I'm going to have pinned in the comment section, it's going to list 10 or 20 questions that, are, I, that I am commonly asked about errors and other things about certain mod packs and why they were denied or why you can't find them. So if you want to read that, you may be able to find your solution there. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you, feel free to hit that like button. If it didn't, feel free to hit the dislike button and comment why the video didn't help you. 
I will do my best to help all of you if you ask in the comment section. Uh, feel free to comment whatever, or you can join my Discord, and uh, you can private message me on my Discord, which you can find that in the description of this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you want to hit that like or subscribe button, it is very appreciated. But I will catch all of you in the next video. See ya.